Hi guys, welcome to Fish Sauce Mama. Thank you for checking out my channel. Ta da! Ramen noodle! Yes! Ramen can vary from low cost to very, very fancy. Yes, they can be very costly, depends on how you cook it. But today, I am going to make my quick and very easy and simple that maybe takes maybe five minutes so um, let's get cooking here I have uh, three ingredients here and I will go get some water later but I just want to show you uh, these all three of these ingredients are uh, very affordable they are about a dollar to a dollar twenty cents yeah, this ramen noodle you can buy pretty much anything this one probably cost me about 65 cents uh two eggs this was probably um uh, 50 cents and this seaweed was about 10 cents and it was gonna last you a long time three dollars a bag i believe have a bowl that is probably about two to three cups so uh, i Heat it up about five minutes and it's boiling hot and it's time to take it out 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 hot hot you see I will come back with a piece of paper yes need to use two hands um, my other hand is holding the camera so um, lay it near my ready open and remember to clean after yourself clear it out here we go I put this um, noodle in here uh, for a couple of seconds and I am going to flip it over to give it um, a little even so you know because I have a smaller bowl so if you have a wider bowl you don't have to flip it so I'm just um, going to let it sit there for a couple of minutes and turn the camera around hey I got two hands now so this work a little bit easier so now just a couple of minutes of the uh, noodles already softened with uh, the package I have some oil in here uh, it has some flavor I like it so I'm okay with using it you are absolutely don't have to if you don't want to and this is a soup base and um, a lot of people think ramen noodle is not healthy but you know it's it's on your hand you decide how much you want to put in there uh, usually I will put about half of the package and depends on what else I put in there I feel like uh, that is enough for me but hey if you like the whole thing put the whole thing just don't complain about the salt okay I see people put more salt in there so it's different people um, taste so you know uh, put as much as you want and this is how much I have left in here I am going to pour it out and let you see um, that I am going to toss it away and uh, now I am going to put in my seaweed uh, these are dry seaweed so you only need like a little bit and put them in there they are uh, dry so I like to put them in and stir them around first so that they don't poke into my egg yolks um, and make my egg yolk all uh, into the uh, soup base see I almost forgot so now I'm just have to hide the seaweed so the eggs the chicken do not be scared to get into the pool here we go my chicken number one and here goes my chicken number two yes make sure you submerge them and clean up after yourself that is the number one rule when you are sharing um, a facility with other people so be mindful and clean up wipe off after yourself so after a couple of minutes, I walk back to the office and the noodle is ready to go. The seaweed is all hydrated. It looks so green and beautiful. Um, look at that noodle. It's all hydrated and the eggs are submerged in the egg white. You can tell that the egg is cooked 
because the egg white is all uh, opaque now, but I usually uh, don't eat it until uh, maybe a couple of minutes in. Hi guys, that's in just a few minutes and we already have our bowl of noodles ready to eat. It's very yummy and delicious. Yes. Uh huh. And in just a few moments, the sea was already expand and the eggs are already poached and perfect. Um, I don't like egg whites, so uh, I usually don't keep the egg whites. But if you're an egg white person, you know what to do. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I need some hot sauce or oh, hot pepper. Mm. I think the eggs are ready. See? Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Let me know how yours turn out and if you try it with something else. This is the easiest one that I can do at work. I usually just eat this pretty much once a week or twice. It's kind of like my, my cheating kind of uh, lunch, um, my go-to kind of lunch. You don't have to use this noodle. You can use any kind of ramen noodle, whatever the easiest for you. So um, I think this is pretty yummy. You know, a lot of people say things about ramens are very um, salty and not healthy. But hey, when you put it on your hand, you can make the difference. So try it out. And let me know how you like it. Comment below and let me know how uh, you like the noodles and if you've tried it out or what do you think about it or what would you like me to cook next time or show you a different tricks i would love to please subscribe and turn on your notification thank you bye bye